Our next guest is a bright young woman doing her part to make a difference. Saloni Sharma is one of 12 youth from across Niagara on the chair's youth advisory committee and she was chosen by her peers as the committee's first chair. You um, have had some previous involvement with the school board, the DSBN. What was your involvement there? So at the board, I think my involvement with the board has definitely fostered my appreciation for student inclusion politics. I work in a traditionally adult setting alongside student, um, adult trustees and superintendents to inform educational policy and student well-being initiatives at the board. And it's been a really great opportunity to see how students' perspectives can influence decisions being made um, in terms of our education. Also involved in the Niagara Falls Youth Advisory Committee and now the Regions Inv Advisory Committee. That, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of ad advocacy for people your age why is this so important to you? Well, I think all of these experiences have really shown me this idea that students need to have the opportunities to be informed, to be included in the decisions and the conversations that will affect their lives, their futures, and their education. And I think in each, um, each involvement, I've had the privilege of being supported and um, of being involved in terms of learning more about politics, how does that work, but also having this mutual learning environment of being able to provide my perspective. And that's just been a really rewarding, rewarding experience of seeing my ideas come to fruition with the support of the adults around me. Some people paint youth with the same brush as not being involved in politics, not being interested in politics, but you have definitely broken that mold. Why do you think it has become so important to you? Well, I think it's become so important to me just because um, these experiences have shown me the very unique and unexpected avenues for student input. When I'm at the board, I'm advising on finances and where do student priorities lie in terms of what the board is investing its time and money into. At the um, Niagara Falls Mayor's Youth Advisory Committee, I've had the opportunity to talk about environmental policies and to talk about mental health and well-being. And so when I'm approached with these new ideas and approached for my comments on things, it's been really interesting, I think both ways to be able to reflect on where my own priorities lie and that, that opportunity for self-reflection and to talk to my peers about what they might think as well, while also learning from the people around me and the adults around me on how to navigate boardrooms and how to forge connections and networks. So I think that opportunity just to learn and to be exposed to all of these um, politics in so many different ways has just been so interesting to me, especially when I'm taken outside of the comforts of my school and the clubs and the peers that I'm around. That school being West Lane Secondary in Niagara Falls, where do you see your committee going as far as topics in the next little while? Well, I think it's safe to say I am so, so excited for the future that the RCYT has, not only this year when we just start out and see where our priorities lie, but also as it grows and evolves over time to fully realize its place within the region. I know I've had the opportunity to talk to each of the 12 um, panels, including myself, to reflect and to think about, you know, what is the lived experience of living in our municipalities, what resources and opportunities do we have, but also to be able to work together and learn from each other about where do we see our advocacy lying. I've had the opportunity to talk to them about their passions and their interests and their advocacy and learn a bit more about the experiences that different municipalities are in, but also see where our discussions go in terms of we've talked about Indigenous youth um, and environmental sustainability, climate change, and how Niagara might respond to that. Um, it's just this open channel for collaboration and communication. And I'm excited to see how that falls into the departments that are um, held within the Niagara region. Saloni, thank you so much for joining us. Keep doing what you're doing. You're a fantastic young lady. Thank you so much.